night, the SciFair ISD school board voted to give themselves more power to ban books from district libraries. Well, this move comes weeks after trustees voted to censor textbooks, removing passages about things like vaccines and climate change. ABC 13's Alex Bozarjian is live outside SciFair ISD headquarters. Alex, the meeting was packed tonight. Many parents say they don't appreciate the way the board is deciding what kids can read about and learn in school. That's right. They feel like this board is basing their decisions off of personal beliefs and not fact. Their outrage fueled by a work session that took place last week where a trustee who is not a medical professional implied that vaccines cause autism. Last month, the vice president of the board also stated that one of the reasons behind censoring textbooks is because they support, quote, a perspective that humans are bad. Parents, students and teachers took tonight's meeting as an opportunity to revolt against the board's decision to omit 13 chapters from several textbooks. The textbooks covered five areas, including biology, environmental science, earth systems, principles of education and training and health science theory. The material dives deeper into topics like the COVID-19 pandemic, vaccines, climate change and depopulation. Trustee Julie Heinemann is the only trustee to vote against the omissions and the new library material review policy. She is the longest serving trustee on the board as well. Of the dozens of people registered to speak tonight, not one, not one expressed support for censorship or new library material review processes. Six board members removed chapters in the biology book discussing all infectious diseases and all vaccines. This information needs to be left in textbooks because uneducated students will lead to the spread of misinformation and may cause people to stop receiving vaccines and medicine. When you voted to omit chapters from the science and CTE materials, you showed that you do not value my expertise as an educator nor as a scientist. Our school district is not their little cult. My kids aren't a part of their cult. That is not what I brought them to public schools for. My fellow board members, it's okay to reverse a vote or change your mind based upon factual information. That shows strength, not weakness. It shows critical thinking, not groupthink. It demonstrates good governance. It's important to note that the chapters that were removed from these textbooks were already approved by the State Board of Education. Now, the library ma material review policy is a separate issue, but likely will have some revisions given the discussions of the board tonight.